changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. Maybe it's going to be different now. Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corporal. Did you tell anybody tonight? How many? That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you s piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corvo. We'll find Dow, the assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the overseers. And you, Trevor, do whatever it is you do with part. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair, but it still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle. There is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself, but you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Corvo, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The Seven Strictures? The Litany on the White Cliff? I... no. I Will you be resuming your old post as Lord Protector? We'll need one. Things are very bad out there. You ought to send her to me, and soon. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you. After all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, and then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. 
If not, well, goodbye. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tibian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. They're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man.
job for him. What's the delay? I am gatebound, not riverbound. And Dowd holds the key to the tunnel and is asked not to be disturbed. Is that it? Come yourselves against Corvo. And now we fight the duel that no two others will fight against the ticking clock. I've waited for this. See if the outside of the world your life or mine. Another slight muddle. Time, Corvo. Why are you fighting? For the men who poisoned you and left you to die? For your dead empress? Go on. Strike as if you mean it. You know I killed her. I have one more surprise for you. I asked for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the outsider himself. And I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing, so my life is in your hands. Make your choice. And you choose mercy. Extraordinary.
think they round people up because there's a cure? They're city guards. They're <coughs> supposed to, to protect people. Ah! They did. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not... Plague wagons running every couple of minutes now. We just need. Telling me the Lord Regent himself was stuck like a pig on some assassin's blade. What is going on up there? Hmm. Why we were checking out. <laughs> <laughs> 